<laughs> Hello everybody, this is Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Happy Tuesday everyone. There we have it. Thank you for the clear. Hi, Rick. Hello. All right. So sorry. So sorry. So sorry. I had to connect to the internet. Is that better? I know I froze. Give me a clear. Better? Hello, Susan. You are not clear, frozen. What about now? Better? It's better. Mucho clear. <laughs> okay. All right, with all this being said, we just drove, Shelly and I, an hour and a half, and we are delivering one of our amazing rescues to their forever home. <clears throat> we are deep in Miami, Palmetto Bay. We never give an exact address. And as we were driving, one of our rescues that is getting adopted decided to poop explode all over my car. So we had to pull off the highway. And let me just say that I have poop in places I didn't know was possible. Cleaning out the car, cleaning our feet, our shoes, our shirts, but it's all worth it. The things we do to get these babies into loving, loving homes. You want me to spill it? You want me to spill it? No more teasing? Okay. We've got 800 people on here. Are you ready? Are you ready? So first of all, I'm not gonna show you who it is yet. But this is the entire fenced-in yard. And we have a beautiful screen and pool. Hi, Mom. And are you ready? Beautiful sky. <laughs> Tell me how bad you want it. Tell me, give it to me. Tell me how bad. Beautiful fenced yard. <clears throat> Daddy Mike is just making a few little, hey Mike, wave to all the 800 people. Love this couple so much. I've got Mike who is so excited. I'm the happiest guy. <clears throat> happiest guy. Happiest guy in South Florida. Mike is the first person that reached out to me for this dog. The second we brought this dog into our rescue, he blew me up. Blew me up. You're going crazy? What a beautiful tree. Isn't that a beautiful tree? For all of you that are not in Florida, that's a palm tree. <laughs> I'm only messing with you. And are you ready, Shelly and Michelle? Michelle, Michelle, you ready for the big reveal? We've got Mommy Michelle in the house. Say hi, Michelle. Hi. And of course, our Shelly Belly. And we have our Kringle. Yay. Kringle found his forever loving new mommy and daddy. They're home all the time. And he's still healing, guys. This boy was found. Let's go inside. It's really hot. I want to get him some water and let him cool off. Okay. After you guys. You ready, Kringle? So, guys, have you thought of a name? Are you going to change his name? We kind of were thinking about it originally. Yeah. But I kind of like him, Kringle. I love it, too. This beautiful pool, screened in. <laughs> <laughs> He'll fix it. Good boy, honey. Get some waters. Get some waters. So 
So this is Kringle's. We never give out an address. Kringle was found on the side of the road, hit by a car and left for dead. And our wonderful friends, Gloria, reached out and asked us if we could help and take. And of course, we said yes. Um, we rushed him to the Blue Pearl 24-Hour Animal Hospital and to Dr. Babeski, board-certified <laughs> surgeon. And they both, thank God, um, stated that he would not need surgery. That basically four weeks, which we, we don't do cages, so he was in our bathroom. And let me tell you, for a puppy, this dog is absolutely perfection. He not one, I think he had one accident at the beginning, and then all this time, he gives us a bark, and we know he has to go out and pee or poop. He, is, he loves his food. He loves, loves, loves his food. He loves his toys. He found our plunger in the bathroom. Then he, we would find him laying with the plunger laying next to him. Um, but for a puppy that had to be contained for so long, and he wants to go because he's feeling better, so he definitely wants to start moving. Cat he's food. Ah, uh, he starts galloping in the in the yard outside. He really wants to play, but we have to keep him still uh, for another couple of weeks. But he's really good at it. He's really, really good at it. A um, couple of times, if he would get a little too excited, we would give him a little 50 milligrams of Traz just to take the edge off, and it would totally just calm him, which we also brought for Mommy and Daddy. I don't know what he's trying to... <laughs> what are you doing in there? Oh, he Harley. smells it. Harley, yeah. You smell Harley's collar? Yeah, it's Harley. Aw, I see. I love your license plate. That was your baby before. Yeah, we've got a Kringle on order. Oh, oh. you do? <laughs> they got a Kringle license plate on order. We have our little cemetery in the front, too. Oh. <laughs> and they have, you have two cats, right? We have two cats. Two cats. Yeah, yeah. Listen, he, he saw the ducks coming in, and he was, like, backing off afraid, which is great. No prey drive. <laughs> Well, it's good. Yeah. A lot of dogs yeah, would attack and try to hurt them if they're not you used to it. Huh? No? <laughs> this boy is going to be one big dog. His paws are huge. Mm -hmm. He's only four months going on five. He can grow for another, at least to a year and a half anyway. So he's going to be a, how much did your last dog weigh? He was around 70. Oh, you might have a hundred plus dog here. Ah, what do you think of that? A hundred plus. <laughs> what do you think, Kringle? Huh? You christened my new car with your poops? Um, so as I was saying, <clears throat> not only was he hit by a car, he was starving. He was emaciated. And, yeah, we're feeding him good. And he had a bottle cap in his belly, so they had to scope that out, thank God, without having to cut him open. So with all this being said, this amazing couple, Mike, you reached out to me through our private notifications. You and I were conversing back and as forth. As soon as I saw him. You knew he was yours. That's it. It was it Done. was magic. And how did Michelle feel when you told her? Uh, Michelle's been after me to get uh, Another a dog. dog anyway because she's always looking at the, at the rescues. And um, I showed her the picture and she was smitten. You fell in love when you met him, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, before. I got to tell you, I, I have to, he's an amazing soul. He's, he's an amazing dog. It really is. I mean, I'm not a puppy person at all, mm -hmm. and this dog does not, you know, the puppies drive you nuts. Yeah. He's so good. He's so good. So we brought some um, food, dry and wet. Um, we brought some trazodone. Um, so this is trazodone. It's 50 milligrams. So what we're doing is if he becomes like really rambunctious, play, give it to him. Um, morning and night, morning and night. Um, just, it just, it doesn't change his personality. It doesn't drug him. It just takes the edge off and he's chill. And I have his heart guard, which is due January 3rd. So oh, okay. That's his preventative. He's due on the 3rd of January. Okay. That's the Traz. One in the AM, one in the PM if needed. If he's chill, don't give it to him. His last dose of dewormer will be on the 22nd of December. Okay. Okay. So it's one full of I put it right in his food. He gobbles it. Oh, okay. right in the wet food. Just it or is he getting it weekly? Or? No, he's going to get this one. I can't. I don't have glasses on. I know. He'll get 9.5 millimeters every 24 hours for five days. So it's once a day for five days in his food. Oh, okay. And it tells yeah. you the date to start it. Because it was three weeks ago I, it, I did And it, it tells you how much 
to fill it yeah. up. So basically, nine point. You know, you take this red cap off, mm -hmm. you stick this in it, tip it upside down, and pull it down until mm -hmm. it goes to yeah. what's needed. Put, squirt it right into his wet and dry mm -hmm. food. Once go, a day. Once I a day. I did it in the evening for him with his dinner. For five oh, days. God. That's his second dewormer. God. So we always deworm for parasites. He's already been dewormed. Mm -hmm. This is the second yeah. okay. round. Okay. Other than that, that's it. That's it. And we keep his harness off because when it's on and he's sitting and he gets bored, he chews on it. So we just put it on if you need be, but you've got the collar. He's fine. He's fine. And then um, he got his uh, vaccines. Uh, we brought him in to get vaccines and microchip. And we are going to get a copy. Does he have any more vaccines needed? He might need another round. I and think I'm not, he needs one more. He might need another round, um, but you'll get a copy yeah. because he's still puppy. Puppies aren't like a regular one-year-old dog when they get one year. Um, so you'll get a copy of that to your email within the next few days. And then you can bring him to your vet, you know. Ain't no sunshine. Microchip we transfer from us to you automatically. Okay. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. And you'll get a copy on the vet bill with his microchip number. Okay. So if you want to go into home again and put a photo and make it more personal, mm -hmm. make sure all the information of, to you is correct. Uh, our tag's on him right now. So you can get a new tag with your name, your phone number, okay. replace it with mine to yours. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think yeah. if there's anything else. When he, because of the, the injury, normally we neuter a dog at six months. I would like him to wait to closer to a year. Um, it's your call, but listen to me, hear me out, hear me out because he's healing right. and they put him on his back and spread and pull. I, I want to make sure everything is really healed and he's already going on five months. So you're okay. talking maybe another three, four months. That's it. Okay. Three, four months. Okay. Now he's not marking. Nothing. He's not peeing in the house. Right. He's not pooping in the house. Normally we want to get it done because dogs, if they're not neutered, they become alpha they pee, they mark. If none of that's happening and he's healing, then it's, but if you find, talk. if you we'll find, talk along the way. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know. That's why my eyes got bigger. If you find <laughs> that there's a problem, then we'll do it sooner. Okay. Okay. That's the, I promise you, if there's okay. any bit of a problem and you say, Amy, he needs to be neutered. Yeah. We'll get him in ASAP. Do you guys do that? Yes. We pay for it at our vet, at our vet. We pay for it. Okay. Generally we wait until Six months and one hour. <laughs> okay. Whatever you want. But he's already okay. at five months. You're only I talking four yeah, weeks. No, I'm not going to. Yeah. He I'm can't. Do it. Right. It's right, got to right, be at right. least two months. He's over yeah. here like, what are they talking about? Wait, We're talking about taking your goodies away and you're hiding <laughs> under mommy's well, leg. Over here. <laughs> save me. Save me. Save you. Save you. I need eye kisses, Shelly. I love his paws. I love to pause. <laughs> He's a big kissy face. Okay, yeah. Make his eyes. Michelle, hold on to this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you never ever see anything bad ever again, sweet boy. Not here. Yes. Not here no, ever. No I know worries. that. No worries. Yeah, where are the cats? Do they come around? The outside cat is normally out in the middle. Was that the okay. One that yeah, I just saw it. Yeah, she was just oh, on yeah. the patio. Patio. Yeah. And she's normally all over the house. Mm -hmm. Then there's another cat that, yeah, she leaves, she leaves the, the bedroom, the security of the bedroom for food. And, and that's the most important baby gate in the house because that's oh, where the litter box that's is. that's awesome. You get the hole for them to go through and he can't get to it. And, and that's good to remember for future. Yeah. We never had that before. Oh, and I know from puppies past that, um, uh, Snack litter boxes is, is me. Oh, mine, please. We have to make sure it's clean. I tell people it's like delicate. It's it's chocolate. Oh yeah, it's unbelievable. And it's disgusting. They love it. So are we still on? I'm gonna shut down right now. Okay, because I wanted to. Okay, show guys. You where we're gonna keep them. I am gonna shut down, and I just wanted to bring you along for this beautiful adoption oh, for sure is. our amazing Kringle is forever home with his new mommy and daddy Mike and Michelle. Cheers is right. Happy Tuesday, right? And this opens up a room for another one in need. We've already got our eyes on a couple that need us at the kill shelter. So we'll keep you posted. I hope you enjoyed this awesome adoption. 
um, and coming along with us. It's always the best. Kringle's home. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Kringle, say bye bye. Say bye bye. Say everybody, thank you for donating so I could have a wonderful, wonderful life and not be living on the streets or dying on the streets alone. 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. Kringle is home.